Sigglethorne Church of England Primary Academy. It's a small school and we've only got about 60 people. But we love it here. We're going to show you our school. Through here, this is the stage one, um, the classroom. Um, it's just pretty good. Can you, Felix, your friends And then through here, we have year three and four, and they're doing music. <laughs> All of the children in our school's portrait, just on that wall there. This is Colin's office. This is Grand Head Teacher's office. That's where the um, dinner staff cook and things like that. That's the nest. Um, through here, this is the hall where we have our lunch and we do collective worship. Like a ceremony. Um, we have a collective worship. What? 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 Okay, Thomas, I want you starting on this one, please. Rolling the dice, Nancy, onto this one, please. Right, so watch it. And, uh, this one, this one, yeah, absolutely. From the answers you So what are we happy with? These two sides. We're happy with these two sides. So what do we have to improve on? These two. How are you going to do that? Do you this bit of paper off? Excellent. Reassess. Try again. So if you know this net, you've shown me this net, you've made it. How could you make this net without drawing around the shape? What would you need to use? What math knowledge? Excellent. Use your ratio knowledge then. Create this without drawing around it for me. I don't know what my angles are. I don't know what my angles are. I'm going to get the traction and measure my angles. Okay, you see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My challenge now is for all of you to make a four sided shape with a perimeter of 12 metres, but none of your shapes are allowed to be the same. Okay. Off you go. Within my lessons, I use assessment um, throughout so I know what the children understand, their next steps, where I can push them, or where I need to look at their learning and give them a little bit of support. So we look at it at the beginning, where their starting point is, in the middle, do they understand? And at the end, can I push them a little bit further to a greater depth of understanding? So my next lesson is going to focus on the GPS of a sentence structure. I'm going to start the lesson with a little group quiz. They're going to be able to talk to their partners, talk to their groups to find out the answer. Through this, I'm going to instantly be able to assess who knew the answer themselves and therefore didn't need support, or who really looked for the support of the knowledge completely of the answer, or looked for a little bit of confirmation. This will then set me on a great stance to be able to put them into their groups to start their learning off. Only the person sat on the chair can give me the final answer. Name two ways to punctuate an embedding clause. Lupus. Dashes and parentheses. Is it correct? Yes. yes. Excellent. One point for your team. Which sentence shows the brackets in the correct place? A, B, or C? A, B. A, A. A. A friend, the one who lives next door, is coming to my party. Agree or disagree? Disagree. I disagree. Go, 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 go